Hello and welcome again. So we're now going to discuss uh, the Advanced uh, Encryption Standard, or AES, uh, which is actually the symmetric cipher that is uh, applicable today. So basically the, the one that uh, modern uh, cryptography uses. The DES, which is the one that we saw earlier, uh, this has been cracked, so it has some problems. Uh, so for real applications uh, today, uh, we use the advanced encryption standard. So we're going to do something similar to what we did in the ES. So we're going to look at the internal structure of the advanced encryption standard and see how it works. And then we'll see how that is implemented in Java. So the, the, uh, the a AES cipher is a block cipher again. Uh, the block that AES is going to work on is a block of 128 bits. So it's a lot larger than than the DES cipher. So it's going to en encrypt blocks of 128 bits at a time. And so assuming that this is uh, the plain text, 128 bits blocks, and they encrypt it into 128 bits of cipher text. Of course, uh, the same process is going to work for decryption. So I'm, I'm drawing here the, the picture of encryption. The picture of decryption is exactly the same. Now, one big difference with the DES is the key size also. The key size here for the uh, the advanced encryption standard, it has three possible key sizes. 128 bits, that's one of them. 192 bits, that's the second kind of uh, key size. And 256 bits. So you can have keys that have uh, this length. So it's more flexible than DES. The key length is larger, so it means it is stronger for brute force attacks. And the block size is a lot larger uh, so which is also an advantage now So in this case what we're gonna do is similar to what we did in DES. So we're gonna think about this uh, the AES as a black box and we're gonna see the internal structure of whatever goes on in here Now for this key as you can imagine something similar to what we did in DES is gonna happen We're gonna have a key schedule now. I'm gonna leave that for for later. So we're going to talk about the key schedule later. Let's concentrate on what is going on here inside the AES. So if you recall what we did in DES, we talk about rounds, we talk about Xboxes, permutations, all those kinds of things. Similar things are going to happen here in the internal structure of AES. We're going to have also Xboxes, we're going to have some kind of permutations, if you will, and uh, we're going to also have addition. XOR, sword addition, also. And all of those kind of things are going to appear here again in ES. So, in some of the parts, I'm going to go a little bit faster because those are concepts we discussed them in the ES. So, let's see about uh, a little bit in detail. So, again, the uh, advanced encryption standard is a block cipher of 128 bits. That's the block. And the key size is going to be uh, Variables, so you have key sizes of 128, 192, and 256. Now, as you remember, when we did what we did in DES, we have some kind of rounds here. And the DES, the one we saw in earlier, there were only 16 rounds and it was fixed. The advanced encryption standard, the number of rounds will depend on the size of the key. So, the size of the key will determine how many rounds. I have to make here in this internal structure. So let's look at this table. So as I said, the number of rounds is depends on the key size. So I have this table here. And the table, what it means is here. The first column has the key length, all possible key lengths for the AES. And the number of rounds is are here in the second column. So if you have the key size 128 bits, then you're going to do 10 rounds. And if it is 192 bits, you're going to do 12 rounds. And if it is 256, you're going to uh, do 14 rounds. So as you see here, the number of rounds is not fixed. It depends on the key length of, of the cipher. And again, this is a symmetric cipher. So for encryption and decryption, you're going to use exactly the same key. So these are uh, this is one important thing that is quite different from the, the previous cipher, which is the DES. And the DES, the number of rounds is fixed, is 16, remember? And for this one, the, num the number of rounds is just depends on what is the key size that you are using. Now, so let's talk about what happens in each round. Now, 
uh, more or less what is the stainless structure of the ram so this picture that i'm going to show you now is kind of similar to the picture of the des um, when we were looking at the first approach to the structure so so here uh, I'm, I'm drawing a little bit of more detail what's going on here in the advanced encryption standard so again we're going to take 128 bit blocks of information and if this is encryption then it's going to encrypt it into this is supposed to be a y so this is going to be a y here which is the cipher text and of course for decryption uh, it's going to be exactly the same process so as i mentioned earlier the number of rounds here it depends on the key size so i'm going to denote by this i'm going to have one round here something is going on inside this round which we will discuss uh, later uh, so basically what's going to happen here we're going to take a block of 128 bits it's going to go inside this round this round is going to transform this that 128 bit block and it's going to put it inside the next round the next round is going to do something else to the 128 bits so on and so forth until you get to the last round here and then the last round then from there we're going to get the ciphertext now remember uh the number of rounds depends on the key size so i have round one round two round nr nr is the number of rounds depend that depends on the key so it is let's recall again it is 10 rounds if, it, if the key is this size 12 rounds if it is 192 and 14 rounds if it is 256 bits now every round uh, is going to be divided into what we call layers so each round of the aes is divided into layers so the internal structure of every round uh, is going to be um it's going to be divided into layers so what do i mean by that layers is basically the number of kind of operations we're going to do on each round now every round has three layers except for the first one that's going to have four so the first round is going to have four layers so four kind of operations we're going to do on this 128 bit block and the next rounds round two to the very last one they're going to have three layers and of course we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did with the ES. We're going to have a key schedule. So from the key, we're going to get sub keys. And the sub keys are going to go into the rounds. Now, another important difference from the DES and this, the next, this one, the AES, is as you can see in the picture here, the first round takes in two sub keys. That didn't happen in the DES. In the DES, every round took only one key in in this case in the aes the first round is going to take two keys the key k0 and k1 the rest of the rounds are just going to take one key at a time so one key and of course how many keys you produce what number of keys you produce is related to the number of rounds and how many rounds do we have well that depends on the key size 128 192 or 256 so 10, 12, or 14, as we mentioned here uh, in this table. So this is all going to be dependent on the key size. Now, of course, the rounds two through the last one, we have three, three layers, and the first one is the only one who has four. So what are those layers? Let's discuss a little bit about what those are. Again, what we're doing here in this video is looking briefly about the structure of the AES. And we're going to look in very detail on which what of the layers are doing here because that's the detailed part here of the structure so we have rounds same as the des we have key schedule exactly the same as the des but the variations of course are are um, are noticeable for example key schedule here is going to be different and it's going to depend on the key size the number of rounds again depends on the key size so there are three types of layers uh, the layers that we have is the key addition layer, which is basically is you're going to take whatever 128-bit uh, block has and you're going to sort that bitwise to the state. The state basically means this. Uh, when I get a block here, 128-bit, the first operation that's going to happen here, and I'm going to go into the detail later, is I'm going to take this 128-bit block and I'm going to sort that with this first sub key here that's the first operation that's going to happen that's also going to happen in the second round 
and the third round and so on. We're gonna sort uh, one 128 bit block with a sub key. That's what they would call the addition, the key addition layer. So basically it's just a sort exactly the same as we have been doing for a while. There's another kind of layer, which is the by substitution layer. And this is kind of related to what we did in the DS. You remember over there, we have some X boxes and we have several X boxes. In this case, we're gonna have only one X box. It's gonna take care of the substitution. And this is the one that is going to perform the substitution using lookup table. So again, the lookup table is just that Xbox that you're going to use to uh, perform the, the substitution. Um, and we're going to look at this lookup table layer. So basically we have the addition layer, which is just sort. We have a by substitution layer, which is going to use a, a lookup table to make substitution of bytes. And that's another important difference between the DES and the advanced encryption standard is the DES works on bits, but the advanced encryption standard is more a byte uh, cipher. So it works on bytes directly. And this part of the byte substitution is gonna the one that's gonna provide confusion. And remember we talked about this in earlier videos. And now the diffusion layer, so there are three layers. The first one is the key addition the by substitution layer and then the diffusion layer only three uh, three layers and the diffusion layer is actually divided into two sub layers if you want and one of them is the shift row that is going to do a permutation of the data on the byte level so this see here the permutation is going to be on bytes rather than bits that's another big difference from the des so the advanced encryption standard again works on bytes rather than dark bits. And the mixed column is also gonna be another uh, permutation that's gonna use a matrix here. So if you don't know what this is, uh, I'll talk about this this concept later, what a matrix is. But basically what these thing, two things are doing, they're doing a permutation on the byte label, not bit. So the advanced encryption standard is a, perm is a cipher that works on bytes rather than bits. So that's basically a more or less kind of like the first uh, look at the internal structure of the advanced description standard. So let me go back to the picture again. So the advanced the the advanced encryption standard is going to have this kind of the same thing. We're going to have, have rounds in there. Uh, one thing that we don't have is permutations here at the beginning at the end. That was in the DES, but not here. Uh, we're going to have the round one. It's a little bit different from the other rounds because you have three layers. Now, these three layers is are layers one, two, and three, but one of them is repeated, and I will explain that in the next video. But for now, we have four layers here, and the other ones have three layers, which is the one, the addition, that we're going to see here, the addition layer, the byte substitution layer, and the diffusion layer, all of the ones that are right here in this one. And, we'll, of course, we're going to have a key schedule. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about a little bit more of what this addition layer does. And you're going to see that that is very simple. It's just sort. And also, uh, if we have time in that video, we'll talk about the by substitution cipher. And for the last, very last part of this uh, internal structure, at least for these layers, we're going to talk about the diffusion layer. So I will see you in the next video, and we'll talk about a little bit more about what the key addition layer does. So I'll see you uh, later.